the community constitution and bylaws should be up to date with everything that has been going on in the past. <laughs> so the unique part of Marlboro that I it drew me here, honestly, um, was the sense that I had of this community being governed by a set of rules that were not decided for the community necessarily. You know, I think as individuals, we have a lot of power, and I, I think in this democracy, like, you know, this truly, I think, on the most romantic democratic space we have here, there's a lot of power. A lot of other colleges talk about democratic values and talk about um, civic engagement and talk about community engagement but they don't actually practice it within their own institutional culture. So things are decided for students when they show up to the college. Town meeting is a space for deliberation. Um, it's a community building space. We meet once a week. Um, and town meeting is basically where um, everyone at the college, every single community member has an equal vote and an equal voice. We run town meeting using Robert's Rules of Order, um, which is a somewhat archaic but widely used uh, method of uh, deliberating upon motions. Um, community members bring forward motions to town meeting through select board. Um, the select board is made up of nine community members, students, faculty, and staff, um, who are tasked with putting together town meeting and also a large uh, other list of responsibilities. Um. So, on your tables you'll have a, a sheet saying proposed language changes. On the back of it is the one that I'm talking about right now. Um, we are proposing adding a subsection to Article 19, Section B. Town that meeting the is the sort of governing body that controls the community constitution and bylaws. And the community constitution and bylaws is a document that um, lives on our college website on Nook. Um, and Essentially, the Constitution and bylaws have been being created since the inception of the college. And I only brought this word because I think the town meeting overstepped the power it has um, from the delegation of powers when it went and tried to regulate. Town um, meeting um, is delegated power through faculty meeting, um, which is in turn delegated power through, well, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> but the trustees delegate power to the president, president delegates power to um, faculty meeting, faculty meeting, delegates power to town meeting. But town meeting actually, even though it's somewhat low on this list, has a lot of, um, has been given a lot of power by the faculty. Um, so town meeting bylaws include things on fire regulations, um, uh, dining hall maintenance, um, compost, um, everything from small ground level things to really big things like community court, um, which is our basically only disciplinary body on campus, um, which is also composed of students, faculty, and staff, and voted on, elected in town meeting. Um, so town meeting is a space, it's a physical location, it's a time of the week, but it's also something that goes much farther beyond that in that it's instilled into our practices and our cultures and there's a large structure, institutional framework around it, which is populated by students, faculty, and staff on sort of an equal playing field. We need to go into the Constitution, we need a representative of um, a quorum, so we need 30% of all... One of the most important things town meeting does, uh, sort of twice a year, give or take, is elect um, people into positions in the community. Um, we have a ridiculous amount of elections <laughs> each year. We have a lot of spots to fill on each committee. Um, and these elections are really, really important to happen on time. And uh, because if these elections don't happen, um, committees won't meet, things won't start going. So um, a lot of what happens at Marlboro relies on town meeting being successful and select board being efficient. I think it's just that uh, it's not part of our jurisdiction. We're not saying that people... What's different about Marlboro is that on almost every single committee, on almost every single um, decision-making body on the campus, um, town meeting has a representative there. Often it's a student representative. Um, for example, all faculty committees have two town meeting student representatives elected each year. Um, so everything from academic language to disciplinary language to housing language um, is all sort of under the purview of town meeting. There are obviously some exceptions to this um, because of federal regulations uh, and there's some challenges that arise out of this um, because of the tension between a democratic process and an administrative hierarchy. Um, but I feel like at Marlboro that tension is much more weighted in favor of democratic process, which I think 
is distinctive, especially right now when people are trying to figure out how to do democracy better uh, in this country. Um, if you see anything and you have questions about anything, as always, feel free to email us or come to our meetings, which are at 3.30 in the library research bar on Mondays. <laughs>